All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends free-to-play mystery shard only run video. Today's a special, a special video. I started noticing that they're doing content creator videos, people saying, you know, why I play Raid and my five, my five main reasons as to why I play Raid. Well, you know, I figured if anybody's been watching my channel, you know my feelings on the game and why I play. But you know what? I figured... Why not? Let's do some let's do some reasons to play raid and let's talk about it and kind of go over it for new people and for old people. You know, who who knows? Maybe you'll see something in here that you like also and it'll make you want to play raid. So let's just see all of my my main reasons. So there's going to be five and we're going to start it off real big with Arena. All right. So now Arena is my favorite thing in this game. So if you really like PVP and fighting people, you will love playing this game if you just started. Basically, you go into Arena, and you can fight Arbiter, right? Arbiter is in every single team that you're going to see. She's always going to be the lead. And the good news is, is they actually started giving out, a little while ago, they started giving out Wukong. And Wukong is also a speed lead. So now everybody has a speed lead, basically, for free. You know, depending on how long you've been playing, and even better, Wu Kong can revive himself every single time if he's not if he's killed first. So basically, you can go in, and the team that you fight is going to be way faster than you when you start this game, and they're just going to one shot you. So if you like getting killed, yeah, you're going to love Raid Shadow Legends. You're going to love the arena, and the best part is, is there's actually quests where you're forced into doing arena. All right, which basically means you get to get killed, and you have to do it in order to progress those missions, especially if you're trying to get Arbiter to match the speed. You know, that'd be great. You can use Wukong in the beginning if you have him, but I don't know if you can get him anymore, so that might be tough. But either way, you're going to need a speed lead, and you're going to get killed every single time you go in here because every single person is going to have legendaries. You know why? Because they've been playing longer than you. And unfortunately, that's just how it works. And you know what? When people stop playing, it actually pushes you back into the lower areas of of arena, which means that there's going to be a lot of really strong people in lower end arena because they don't really play anymore. So you're going to be fighting against legendaries in bronze. So that's going to be fun, right? Especially because they don't really have a system as to get rid of them. They really just push them back. So now everybody has to fight the people who don't play anymore, which is kind of nice. And I think that's a great way to really test new players and be like, hey, man, you know, we're going to give you a starting rare and we'll give you some, you know, maybe, you know, another hero that's legendary, possibly. And you get to go in there with, uh, you know, subpar gear and you get to fight people that have tons of legendaries and have been playing for five years. So I think you're going to really enjoy the PvP aspect of Raid. And even better, if you like it, you can go into Tag Team, where you can do the same fight you just saw, and you can do it three times in a row, which takes a lot longer. And what you're going to see in here is, is that there's going to be... Now, this is a little bit lower, because we're on a lower uh, rung of the uh, Tag Team, but you're going to see that there's going to be a lot of heroes in here that have Stone Skin, all right, so you're going to have to try to figure out a way to get through Stone Skin. Basically, just makes it so that you have a ton of uh, blockage going on on your Death Knight because everybody has Death Knight now. So that's even better. So whenever you try to single target anyone, it's going to go right to Death Knight, and then he's got Stone Skin. So you're not going to be able to do any damage. I think it's going to be a really fun time for you guys, and I think you're really going to enjoy Arena in this game. And I'm really glad that they haven't changed it. I mean, it's been the same way I think for almost forever, right? Basically, since the beginning of, of time, they've done it. And uh, yeah. They 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 are special in the sense that Polarium really likes to keep things the way it was when the game first started, and I think that's really good for the community, and I think it's really great if you're into PvP. So I think you're really going to enjoy the PvP aspect of Raid Shadow Legends. Now, the second thing that I think is my favorite part of Raid, if you go into your heroes, right, and you look at your champs, well, there's masteries, okay? Now, you're going to have to do masteries for every hero, you know, and figure there's, you know, a thousand heroes in the game. So you're going to have a lot of time and you're going to be spending a lot of time. And I mean, a lot of time doing the Minotaur grind. All right. So you basically go into this dungeon, you go here and you get to go into Minotaur right here and you go to your stage, whichever one you can do, whichever one's comfortable. All right. And you grab the hero that you want to get masteries for whoever it is. We'll just pick him. All right. We'll pull these guys out just because, and we'll put in our starting heroes. Cause I don't want you guys to think that you know, I'm using the craziest of heroes to do this. All right, so we've got our Golek, we've got more Maiden, we've got him, and we'll bring in my boy Apothecary. So there you go. So basically, the way this works is, is you're going to have to run this dungeon hundreds of times, thousands of times, actually very a lot of thousands of time all right <laughs> many many times you're going to have to run this dungeon and the fun part is is that Polarium just added this awesome 
thing where there's this thing called super raids. And basically, you can do double the run with double energy. So it's basically like doing two runs in one. And it speeds the game up a lot. So you can do that in dungeons. You can do that in the faction wars. You can do that in, I believe, uh, what is that? Uh, Doom Tower. There, there's a, all, every area, every single area of the game will allow you to run it twice in a row. And that way, you don't have to spend as much time grinding away on these hard dungeons. But not Minotaur, okay? Minotaur actually doesn't have it. It's going to be the only place, basically, that you can't do a double run outside of maybe, I think, I don't even know, maybe even Iron Twins might uh, not have it. But you can't do a double run on this, okay? Now, why would Polarium do that? Well, because they want you to grind for your masteries. That's why. It's not because they, uh, you know, because you can literally buy your masteries and they want you to spend money and buy your uh your masteries with gems that's not why all right they want you to really earn your masteries that's what it is okay so if you go in your hero right here this is the best way to do it you find your hero that you need to max all right and we'll go all the way down to the new one that we were just working on you go to masteries and you click masteries and then if you go in here you can click any one of these buttons that have a plus sign and you can get all scrolls right here and you can spend 800 gems and it'll just magically give you all of your scrolls and that's kind of a great way i think you know if you um, want to keep playing. And here's the thing. If you run out of gems, all you have to do is you close this and you go right here into the shop and you can buy stuff. Look at this. You can buy gems. You can buy shards. You can buy all kinds of stuff in here. I mean, there's plenty of things in here. You could spend, look, you can spend $20 to get a chest full of gems. I think that, and that's the best way to play, I think, is really to spend your money on gems so that you can buy masteries. I think it's a great system, and I think Polarium has really, really done a good job at making sure that you're going to have to grind your masteries, because nobody wants this anything for free, right? You don't want to, you don't, you want to feel like you're accomplished, right? And you also want to feel like you spent your money, a hard-earned money on something good. So there you go. And now, that kind of leads us into the third thing about Raid, is that Almost everything in this game is monetized. So that means that if you're lazy and you don't want to do anything or you just want to spend your money on random stuff, there's a lot to get. And there's a lot of value in these shops here. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. All right, now when you just start, there's going to be a rookie pack. All right, so you're going to get 99 cents. You get one shard there, right? I think this is one shard. Yeah, one shard and 25 thousand silver now if you've been playing this game for a while you know that twenty five thousand silver is a lot of silver okay it's a ton of silver and it's going to get you really far i think that might give you 0.5 upgrade from level 12 to 16 so at least you got something out of it right and then you've got primal shards which are awesome they're basically shards that have terrible rates so which makes you want to get more so it makes you want to spend more you'll get you spend 24 dollars you can get what is this? You can get four primal shards for $25 and you get 200 silver, which you're going to immediately spend, by the way, on summoning those shards, which is great. So that means, you know, you're not having to waste your silver. They're going to give it to you by spending your money. So they're doing a good job with that. And then over here, you've got all these other shards, which have terrible rates. All right. Look at this voids. I mean, you're going to pull a bunch of these. You're going to get three void shards. You know that? And the, the great part is, is they have events, which basically means that you can spend 120 void shards at once, okay? Hear me out on this. And then that will give you a guaranteed legendary champion. So basically, this is $70. Now, if you, I don't know how the exchanges work, but let's just say you needed 100 of these shards. You could literally just spend $70 to get three, all right? That's amazing, right? So now if you're going to get 30... That's times 10. That means that's $700 for 30 of these. All right. So it means you could spend $2,100 on 90 shards. Okay. Which means you might have to spend another, you know, $600 maybe to get all 120. So figure somewhere around $25 to $2,800 you would have to spend to buy all those shards to get that guaranteed champ. And I think $2,800 is a pretty reasonable price to get one legendary champ in Raid Shadow Legends, especially because that hero will get you very far. Now, if you close this, all right, we have also, you can come in here and you can buy 2 million silver and 2,000 gems and 120 energy, which is basically, you know, if you run Minotaur, that's 14, I believe, or 16 energy right there. I would have to look again. But that's 14. That means you can run Minotaur like another nine times while you wait. Unless you're, or you can even upgrade two heroes without running Minotaur by spending $50. So this is actually a really good value, I think. Now, if you come into the bank, all right, this is where you can get some other stuff. You can buy points. 
which is great. That's for uh, a point system where you get rewards. So you can spend that and you can get 2,500 points. Now you are going to need about 20,000 points just to get to like the first part of that little thing. So you may have to spend, you know, somewhere around three, four, five hundred dollars $500 just to get to that first part where you get shards. But let's not talk about that kind of stuff. That's negative. All right. Let's go into the gem shop. Now here you can spend your hard-earned gems or your hard purchase gems and you can buy more garbage which is awesome look at this you can get exp boosts we can get tag team arena fills so you can get back to that getting destroyed a lot quicker it's, it's always good to get more tag team arena fills because that way you can spend more time in the arena now if you go into daily progression this is where it gets really good all right they're going to start giving you packs that are basically geared towards starters and founders and all these other things and they're going to put names on it all right this is a veteran pack where you can get a void shard after hitting level 55 that might take you about six months four months i don't know it could it could be one month it doesn't really matter you're getting a, you're getting for a hundred dollars you're getting a sacred shard for leveling and playing the game it's not even like they're giving it to you for spending money on their game they're giving it to you for leveling up in their game and spending more time in the game so your hard-earned money doesn't just go to you getting free stuff it goes to you spending your time to get the item that you just paid for. So I think that's a really good thing that they added. Now, Expert Progress Pack, you're gonna need more stuff. You get a barrel, which will level one hero up to max level. That's great. I think you're really gonna need that. And then here we go, we have limited special offers, all right? There's Soul Stones, there's all these fun things in here. And I think you're gonna see there's a lot of really good value in here, all right? You can buy Clover Coins for an event, all right? That's really good because you need about 60,000 points just to get to like the first part of the event. So I think if you spend $5, for four of these, actually, you can you can get three of those packed, which is really nice. And then when you're finished spending your fifteen dollars on this, you can come over to here, and then you get four chances here to get eighty five hundred, which means you can spend about forty dollars here. So you know somewhere in the range of fifty five something dollars you can spend, and that'll give you points in a, in an event. That's a special event. It's a special event for you know holidays and for their fifth anniversary. I think that's a really good thing. All right. Then you go into the raid anniversary. Now, this is a fun one because you're going to see this almost exact pack probably all year. The only difference is, is this up here where it says raid anniversary pack. It's going to say something different here, right? It's going to say something like, I don't know, new year's pack or Halloween pack or welcome back pack, or you have the best hair in this month pack. All right. You're going to have a lot of different names, but it's going to be the same thing. All right. And I feel like you're going to really enjoy that because then you feel like you're buying something for the holiday and you're getting something out of it. There's also a monthly pack here, which is really nice personal packs, which you can actually customize to waste your money. I think it's a really good idea where you can actually decide how your money gets wasted in this game. And that's, that's something I think you guys really should, should look at. It's really, really exciting. All right. Now here you have a bunch of shards. I mean, look at this. You get one primal shard, one sacred shard and two ancient shards. I think that's really great and i think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun or you can just outright buy a six star set which you have no guarantee will even have good stats uh so you can spend 50 bucks and you're gonna think this is great but i guarantee you it probably won't all have speed and you might have some flat stats down here but you know what who cares a flat stat hp glove for 50 bucks i think that is well worth it and you're gonna get some oil and four million silver which is enough to maybe upgrade two of these if you're lucky possibly one to 16 depends on how lucky you are who knows so yeah the shop i think is number three it's really a good section of the game and i think you really need to spend a lot of time here because why would you want to spend time grinding and playing a game when you could spend time buying things now we get out of here another good thing about this is they're really good with events all right as you can see they took a lot of time here to really make this whole screen look real pretty all right now just so you know the difference between what it looked like and what it didn't look like is this wasn't here there wasn't as many presents everywhere this ribbon wasn't here on the forge with this uh little tower thing this guy wasn't juggling and this this balloon was not here so they really went all out on events. They really went out all, all out this year, all right? This is their fifth anniversary. They really wanted to congratulate everyone and really let them know that they're proud and happy that you spent your time in this game for five years. I mean, that's like nobody, some people don't even work their jobs for five years, so that's crazy. And this is essentially great. Like, look how much work they put into this. I feel like, I feel like they spent hours on this like at least hours it had to be hours on this because this is i mean i couldn't do this you know i couldn't set this up at all if i was good at my job but i definitely think they put hours into fixing this up for the five-year anniversary and they have tournaments which are really good now if you really like tournaments in this game and events you're going to really love this right so basically you go into the dragon turn attack right 
and you're going to have to go in here. Now, this is a tournament, so that means you have to fight other players, okay? Now, you're going to get, you're going to, if you want this number one thing, you got to beat this guy, all right? Which means that if you don't do this tournament until the last second, this guy could come back and beat you. So you better watch out. You know, when you do these tournaments, just remember you have to have a competitive edge, which means if you have to spend more to get more stuff, like more energy to run Dragon, you better get on that because it's going to be really important because you need this gear. It's very important. You also need this Ancient Shard, and you also need this chest, all right? Because you have a random chance at getting something. Look at this. You have a random chance of getting... Look at these rewards. They're so good. You get charms or an Ancient Shard. So know that these events and tournaments are going to give you really good rewards and they're going to give you amazing stuff you're going to be so happy that you spent three days grinding out in dragon to get this one book and to get that shard i guarantee you're going to love it and then if you go in here you can actually see some of the really good events all right let's go look at let's look at actual events this is the fifth year anniversary so this is basically the best thing ever all right this is where they put it all their work into so there's a titan event now what is a titan event titan event means that you have to play other events to get points, to get points in this event. So basically, this isn't an event by itself. It's just a reward system based on you doing every single other event in the game, and every single event that you do give, will reward you with points. So now you have to go over here. So we go into Artifact Enhancement. Now, one piece of gear to level 16 will basically net you somewhere around three or 400 points, okay? So you're going to need at least... I will say somewhere between 1 million and 2 million to level up one piece of gear. All right. So that means if you want to get the points for this, you would have to level up somewhere between, I don't know, 10 and 15 pieces of gear, depending on star rate, to get these 70 points right here. All right. But you also get 30 here. So you'll get 100 points total for doing that. Now, I don't know if it goes further. It does not. So basically, you'd have to level those all up. So you're going to need somewhere around. I don't know. Let's see. If it's two million, let's just say two million per piece. All right, and you have to do ten pieces. We'll be we'll be generous. So that means you need about fifteen to twenty million gold or silver to get these points, and that's just one event. All right, but you're lucky. All right, because there's going to be more events. Look at all these events. There's summon rushes where you have to summon nonstop to get rewards in here. Then there's dungeon divers. We have to grind dungeons for a very long time, all right? And that's going to give you more points towards that event. Now, you can go in here and you can view all the fun stuff that's going to be happening, the Path of the Clover, which you can only get points for, by the way, by summoning champions and soul stones. So that means if you don't have any summon stones, mm, boo, you're going to have to go buy some, or you're going to have to try and get some, which is going to take a long time. So it might be better that you just buy them. I think that's the best way to get through this wonderful event called Path of Clover. You're going to love it. It's going to be the greatest thing ever. You're going to be you're, you're so happy you spent time and money on this. It's going to be good. All right, and then you also have in here a 10 times boost on summoning, which means now you'll be getting an extra chance, all right, at getting these heroes. Now, the fun part is, is that when you summon, all right, basically when you look at, even if you're using the best shards, all right, sacreds, you're going to have a 6% chance of getting this, of getting any legendary hero. Now, the fun part is there's 200 legendary heroes plus, if I had to guess, somewhere in that range. All right, that means that you have a 6% chance of getting one and then you have a very low chance of getting the uh, one you want. So this is going to be exciting, and you have a chance of getting some of these Bannerlord heroes that have the new faction uh, bonuses, which are kind of cool. So yeah, you really should start spending your money on Fina and trying to get that Bannerlord and that High Elf. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with that. So that's the events. I think you're going to really enjoy those two. I think my favorite thing about this game, though, if I had to guess, my top, my top five answer would be the Champions. And I think you're really going to enjoy building heroes and getting them up to levels that, that make them fun. I think you're going to really enjoy this part of it. All right, now you can build rares, which is what I do. This is a mystery shard only run. So we can build mystery shard heroes, which are rares. We can build all these guys in here. There's tons of heroes in here, and you're going to love how it works. You're going to love grinding out things and getting your gear and putting your heroes together and making them work for you. You're going to enjoy watching hours and hours of other people's videos because you know what? Some of it's really hard to remember. So you're definitely going to have to go in there and check out some other videos and see which heroes are good out of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of heroes in here and see which ones work well and which ones are going to be good and then you get to fight with some people online too because some people think that you know some people might think that this guy's good right here 
blood feather. And then some people might say that blood feather is bad. So, you know, you got to go online and you got to argue. So I think having a good argument online will really help you in choosing the hero that you want and making sure that you're going to choose the, ne- the right hero for the next guy, for the next part of this game. And you're going to have plenty of content to use all these heroes in. And look at all these guys. Look at this. You've got tons of heroes in here that you get to level. All right. As you can see, uh, I only have what? four of these out of all of these epics so i have plenty to go and i've been playing for a year and a half we've got two of these legendaries and we definitely don't have any mythicals i'll tell you that much and then you get to go into all these other factions and look at all these heroes you can try to get i mean it's like it's literally like it never ends so and the good news is is if this is overwhelming that there's so many heroes the best part is is that they release new heroes like every month all right there's also a fusion every month so you can fuse a new hero that comes out every month so you're going to have a lot of time and a lot of heroes that, and you're going to have to spend a lot of time leveling them up because Because the more time you spend in this game, the better for you. All right, it's the better for you. It's good for the player. Remember that. It's good for them. It's not good for Polarium. It's good for you. So those are my top five reasons that I play Raid specifically. And uh, I think you guys should really, really take a look at this video again. You know, give it a couple watches. You might see some extra things that you missed and some things that you enjoy more about Raid because you watched this video, okay? So if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. It would be great for you. Um, And as always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It's great for the channel you are uh, growing this channel up great and you can watch all my other videos on raid shadow legends and god's raids and all the other videos that i've been putting out and uh yeah that's it for today so this is my five reasons to love playing raid okay and this is mobile gamer nerd and you guys take care